Yo, what's good everybody? Guy and Kicks here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the latest Adidas Form Low and Kit collaboration in the white and green colorway. This is a very clean shoe, guys. The materials on this feel super premium. So with that being said, let me show you guys a first look and let's get into this review. So some information and detail about this release. These officially dropped on September 19, 2022 for a retail price of $120. These were part of this week's Kith Monday program. These released alongside the Power Phase, the Handball Top, and the Campus 80s. I was able to get mine last Friday through an exclusive access. I got the notification from the app, and of course, I had no choice but to pull the trigger. This pack and this collaboration is also part of Kith. 2022 fall collection. So these forum lows are actually my second pair. I was able to pick up the ones that dropped last year with the strap, the white and blue ones. I'll leave a link here so you guys can check out that full review. But here Kith is paying homage to the 1989 version of the forum lows. In terms of the colorway here, it wasn't until I got these in hand that I realized that obviously these are a mostly white shoe, but here you have a dark green on the front of the tongue on this tag and also on the leather on the heel counter of the shoe that that same piece of leather goes all the way to the mid part of the medial side of the shoe. I didn't realize that it was a dark green until I grabbed the shoe because when I opened it, I actually thought that that was a dark navy when I first saw them online. When I got them in hand, I was like, wait a minute, am I going colorblind here? But no, in good lighting, you can really see the dark green. In bad lighting, they're really gonna look kind of black. So from afar, they may look white and black, but up close, it is a dark green. When it comes to the materials that they use on the upper, here you're gonna find a really nice premium white leather for the most part on the upper of the shoe. You're also gonna find a pretty good suede on the mud guard and also on the three stripes on the lateral and medial side. The suede that they use here is in a light gray color. On the inside of the shoe, on the sock lining, it does feature a leather material here. And then on the insoles, you do have some Adidas and Kith branding in a really cool gold color. As I mentioned already, the front of the tongue has that green tag and you'll find some Adidas and Kith branding. These come out of the box with these white flat cotton laces, but they also come with another pair of cream laces. So for me personally, I'm definitely gonna switch the white laces with the cream ones. A very cool detail about these form lows is that the eyelids have like these rings so it makes it very easy to lace these up you know sometimes when you have leather or suede you kind of have to like puncture the suede a little bit to kind of get the tip of the laces through here with these rings it makes it very easy to lace these up the front of the tongue here is also constructed from that same premium leather material as you come down to the toe box it is perforated and you'll find that nice suede here on the mud guard on both lateral and medial side you find the three stripes in that suede material and then those mid panels also have some perforation on the lateral side closer to the heel part of the shoe you'll find some additional adidas branding all the way to the heel part of the shoe underneath the heel counter you find the heel stabilizer and it is kind of like in a very light gray or maybe sail white here but it does go all the way to the medial side of the shoe and similar on the lateral side it goes all the way to the mid panels of the shoe in terms of the cushioning system that these feature the midsole here is primarily made out of rubber but you do have some eva foam that you primarily will find on the medial side of the shoe and that exposed eva foam is covered by what adidas calls the dillinger webbing which is going to help that eva from expanding and if it does expand it serves as a trampoline effect to keep that eva intact on the lateral side on the midsole you will find some additional adidas branding and the midsole does have a vintage look similar to the outsole of the shoe again you have a rubber outsole here and you do have a ton of adidas branding throughout the outsole and then around the forefoot part of the outsole you do have like these circles in that dark green color the shoes come in this custom adidas and kith box and the box is primarily like a very light gray and you do have the three stripes in black and there you have the official tag in sku when it comes to size here i went with my regular size 10 and even though i knew how they were going to feel because i already have the form 84 lows but i did not want to risk going to half the size down and then the shoe feeling too tight i'm okay with that extra room but if you're someone who really likes a snug fit then go a half size down from your normal true to size so if you wear like a regular size 10 on jordan ones or nike dunks then maybe consider going a half a size down if you like that snug fit if not then just go true to size here and you'll be fine. When it comes to comfort with these form lows, these are an 80 shoe, so the cushioning technology here is nothing special, nothing that's gonna wow you. The insoles here are thick enough 
that you will feel a little bit of softness. However, if you already own a pair of Form 84 Lows, even Nike Dunks, even 550s, that same sort of spectrum, they are gonna feel pretty similar when it comes to the comfort and fit. These, however, do have a little bit of extra room on the toe box. So I feel like, at least for me, my toes don't feel squished in here. So that's a good feeling. But overall, these are okay, but they're not super uncomfortable that you cannot wear these throughout the day. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on these Adidas Forum Lows and Kit collaboration is that first of all, the materials that they use here, guys, this leather feels amazing. I don't know if I'm losing it. I don't know if I'm hyping these up too much, but the leather that they use here, it is very good quality. Even my Form 84 Low, the leather that they use on that was spectacular. But for the leather that they use here for a sneaker that's, you know, less than $150, you know, I have to give Adidas mad credit for using this type of leather on this type of shoe. You know, overall the colorway here is clean, you know, nothing crazy, it's a mostly white shoe. You do have some different material changes here. For example, on the Form 84 Low, the mudguard was in leather and then the heel counter was in the suede and here they basically like switch things up here. So that's a cool detail here compared to the Form 84 Low. Another key difference and obvious difference that you'll notice on these is that these do not come with the strap, which honestly is the cleaner look, it's the best look. So Adidas definitely get rid of the strap don't use it anymore i think here without the strap it just makes the shoe look so much cleaner another cool detail that i like about this colorway is the age midsole and outsole because it gives that shoe that vintage vibe that vintage look and obviously with the extra cream laces that gives it that added touch which for me i'm definitely gonna go with the cream laces on these for sure but overall guys i think this is a clean colorway super wearable here and mad credit to kith and adidas for dropping these obviously you got the other two models as well so that definitely gives you more of an option there i'm not sure how these are going on the resale market honestly i haven't checked but if you were able to cop these and get them for retail i think you're going to be very happy to get these in hand so with all that being said guys let me put these bad boys on and show you guys how they look on feet All right, guys so that's it for me hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the adidas form low and kit collaboration let me know in the comments below what you think about this drop which one was your favorite out of the pack and like always guys thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subs thank you i appreciate that anybody who's new to the channel you like this type of content feel free to subscribe i'll leave a link to my instagram page below where you guys can go check out my page and see what i'm wearing see what i'm rocking see new stuff that i picked up and that's pretty much it guys catch you guys in the next one peace